we were asked to factor each expression completely. The first expression is 16 t squared minus 64. We may recognize that 16 t squared is a perfect square, and so is 64, so we might be thinking we should apply the difference of squares factoring formula shown here below, but this would not be correct because remember, the first step in factoring is always to factor out the greatest common factor. And the greatest common factor between 16 t squared and 64 is 16. To help show this, we could write 16 t squared as 16 times t squared, and we could write 64 as 16 times four. This is optional, but it does allow us to see the greatest common factor, as well as the remaining factors of each term after we factor out 16. So if we factor out 16, we're left with t squared minus four. And now we see if we can factor the expression inside the parentheses further, Notice t squared is a perfect square and so is four, so we can factor further. We factor this as a difference of squares, which means it will factor into two binomial factors. Because t times t is t squared, we have a t here and a t here. And because two times two is four, one binomial factor is t plus two. The other binomial factor is t minus two. This is the correct factored form of the given expression. I do want to show what happens if we apply the difference of squares formula from the beginning without factoring out the greatest common factor. Because 4t times 4t is 16t squared, we might think we should have a 4t here and a 4t here in the first positions. And because eight times eight is equal to 64, we might think one binomial factor will be 4t plus eight, and the other binomial factor might be 4t minus eight. But notice how we have a common factor of four in this binomial and a common factor of four in this binomial. So this is not factored correctly. To factor it correctly, we'd have to factor out four from this binomial, giving us four times the quantity t plus two, and factor out another four from this binomial factor, giving us times four times t minus two. Four times four is 16, giving us 16 times the quantity t plus two times the quantity t minus two. So we could get the correct answer, but it takes a lot more work, and therefore we should always factor out the greatest common factor first. For the second example, we have y to the fourth minus 25y squared. Again, both terms are perfect squares, but again, the first step should be to factor out the greatest common factor, which in this case is y squared. And again, if it's helpful, we can write y to the fourth as y squared times y squared minus 25y squared is 25 times y squared. And we can see if we factor out y squared, we'll be left with y squared minus 25. So the first step is to factor out y squared, which leaves us with y squared minus 25. y squared minus 25 is a difference of squares, and therefore this does factor further. We have y squared times two binomial factors, because y times y is y squared. The first terms are y and y, and because five times five is equal to 25, one binomial factor is y plus five, and the second binomial factor is y minus five. This is the correct factored form of the given expression. I hope you found this helpful.